So what I'm demonstrating here in this video is flooding with guidance. What's happening here, we're in my living room, and this is a very, very, very reactive dog, very reactive to dogs, cats. So I'm walking him through my living room, surrounded by the dogs, the cats. The cat reacted there, but the dog's not allowed to react back. So there you see the cat took off. There's another cat over there, cat on the couch. I show the dog here. I can pet the cat. I quickly tell him no in case he thinks about reacting but there's no reaction whatsoever. I have my dog Cam sleeping on one side. You see all my dogs, everything I do is safe, but I'm a big believer in flooding with guidance, which means overexpose the dog to the issues you're having. Here's another video. I'm on the other side of the couch with another cat, my cat Mittens. This is a dog that was very, very reactive to dogs and cats, so really helping him work through all that. Petting my cat, showing him it's okay. Now, I'm not nurturing the dog here, not telling him it's okay, everything's going to be fine. Just modeling good behavior, calm behavior, any escalation, quick correction, no hard feelings. Now, we're going to be going outside in a minute. I'm going to show you how I work him with my personal dog. So, here is my first personal dog, Cassie. And you see that leash, loose leashes. They don't have to be friends, but any reaction gets corrected. This is a dog that would react towards any dog they saw on the street, was making the walks impossible. The owner lives in Rockaway and wants to walk on the boardwalk where the dog would see other dogs. Here is another dog, my dog Agatha. And you see again, no reactions. The dog is learning to coexist peacefully, which is what I always tell people you want. You want peace through coexistence. They don't have to be best friends, they have to coexist.